Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable Acro. So over the last week, I've noticed a couple of questions. One was on one of my videos. I'm sure the other one was on iNav Flick Swing Group, asking how you actually get acro enabled as a flight mode and you can understand why people are asking this we'll have a look at configurator in a minute and you'll see there is no acro mode that you can select and the reason for this is it's the default flight mode so if you don't choose anything at all acro will work so what i'm going to do is show a quick example by setting up a very basic model on my transmitter and on the flight controller so what we have here is a very, very basic model. It's pretty much empty, but if I page through, we can see in the mix, we have a couple of switches. We have SB here, which I've set up for modes and then SG, sorry about the focus, which I have on another switch that I've labeled for tune, but we, you know, we're just going to use these as switches that are working in INAV. So that's all that's going on here. And what we'll do is we'll head over to the computer and see what's going on in iNav. Right, so we're here at iNav. So let's get connected up. The flight controller is plugged in on my desk. I have my transmitter here. And if we head into receiver, we can see that I've basically got three switches set up. I've got the arm switch on channel five. I've got that SB switch on channel six and SG on channel seven. So let's head into modes. So at the moment I have my arm switch set up and that's it. So what we're going to do is add in a couple of flight modes. So let's just go angle on channel six and manual on channel six. We'll just keep it really basic so we can see what's going on. And it's a nice progression because manual is full control to you. Angle is uh, self leveling stabilized whereas acro is just a stabilized so it's the three different sort of types of flight that we have in inav as a pilot rather than letting the contr flight controller fly so what we'll do is we'll stick manual all the way over here and angle over here so we save it we can get the lights working <laughs> basically so if i move this switch here you can see at the moment in the down position in the down position angle is lighting up if I put it in the middle, absolutely nothing is lighting up whatsoever. And if I go over to the far extent, manuals lighting up. And it's this middle position here that we're most interested in because when nothing else is lit up. So that means if you do have any of these other flight modes, they can't be active either in that, in that switch position. Um, that is acro. Now, it's it's a little bit weird to get your head around and it is sort of something that developers think about oh it's a default mo flight mode it's just there every time nothing else is selected but as someone new it's really not intuitive and alex has actually put an issue in to maybe try and make this better so we have like a pseudo acro box which lights up every time acro will work which would really help i think new people but anyway, if you want to know how to get it into Acro, this is how you do it. You have nothing selected uh, at all as far as flight modes goes. Obviously, arm can obviously be selected at the same time. But any of these flight modes, you just don't, don't have them selected. Of course, uh, the, the tuning stuff can be. Some of it won't work with Acro, but some of it has to. So auto-tune, for example you would only ever use that uh, with iNav 3.0 in Acro. Anything down this list further down, you can have with Acro and it will still work. But any of these flight modes, they can't be selected. Otherwise, they will take over from Acro as the default. So there you go. I hope this helps you guys. I suppose one thing that we may also cover is air mode because there are people that come over from quads who have got in the habit of just calling acro air mode because again acro on beta flight is the default flight mode so if you don't select anything you're actually in acro but unlike what we have here in inav 
they have um, air mode on a switch. So because of the more control, even at low throttle, that you get with air mode, the quad guys usually switch on air mode and fly with that. So they've got in the habit of calling acro air mode, whereas it really isn't. It's completely different. In fact, you can use air mode with angle, horizon. Uh, the only thing it doesn't really work with is manual, uh, but you don't have manual on quads anyway. Um, of course, with us on the fixed wing, we usually just have air mode permanently enabled, which is why we don't get the option on the, the mode screen. So that means the air mode is working with all our main flight modes except for manual. So it works with acro, it works with angle, and it works with horizon. So it's not really a mode in itself, it is a modifier, pretty much like uh, altitude hold is a modifier, which locks you into the altitude. So I hope this cleared it up for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Or if you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and this helps get the video out to more people so they can learn how to use Acro too. So thank you guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them. Bye.